Welcome, welcome, welcome back for another episode of This is Casey Sports. I am your man Bishop. What a time to be alive. What a time to be alive. Hope everyone is doing very well out there in the world today. On this wet, wet, overcast, cloudy day. Uh oh. <laughs> Here in Kansas City, I'm sitting here reading the uh, IE Sports Radio chat line, and my man Taron Rodriguez is in the building. Of course, Mr. Set Point himself. I may say y'all check out Set Point. Taron Rodriguez says, "Fun fact: 53 is Larry B's favorite number. Happy 53rd episode, man. That's what's up. I did not know that. Okay." Well, let's see if we can make some magic happen today, because it's not only the 53rd episode of This Is KC Sports, it's not only, you know, which, you know, it's Larry B's favorite number, but something much bigger, 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 bigger is going on uh, than that, and, um, you know, we, we love, we love, we love, we love bringing you guys all the sports that you can handle. Um, you know, we, we just love bringing you all the content that you can get. So there's a few exciting things going on. Like I said, what a time to be alive. It is not only the 53rd episode of This Is KC Sports, ladies and gentlemen, it is the 10th year anniversary of IE Sports Radio. What? Hey, none of this would be possible without your man, Larry B, head honcho, him and his wife. They put this thing together. They got shows like This Is KC Sports coming at you. They got shows like, like we just said, uh, Taron um, Rodriguez show set point. You got Larry B's three and out. I mean, we got everything that you need, okay? Um, everything that you need, everything you got, the big cheese, you got heart of Texas, our bleeping city, let's whine about sports, gloves off, the IE elite wrestling, you got ne- uh, the neutral zone with Adam Cornick, Shot Town Weekly with Adam Cornick, Palm Tree Sports, Philly Sports Talk, AZ Daily, the Buffalo Huddle with my friend Patty. <laughs> Uh, Carolina cast, the list goes on and on. We everywhere, okay? Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. We're everywhere. I Sports Radio, the whole umbrella, the whole team, they are going to just grow, grow, and grow and just bring you good quality content as much as possible, okay? You know, a lot of people put a lot of heart and dedication until they show, and it shows, you know, they, they love it, so 10th year anniversary of IE Sports Radio, congratulations, I've been around for about a year now, and it's just, like, B, he's just, he just, the man's a machine, he doesn't stop, that he, well, I hear there's a lot of big things coming up for the, for the uh, network, and I can't wait, can't wait, so, you guys just make sure you're around for it. <laughs> We're going to get into this. So, I mean, there's a lot going on right now. I'm excited. We're two days away from the official schedule release for the NFL's 2024 season. We already got a sneak peek on the first <clears throat> the first game, first First, first opener for the Chiefs uh, has been released, and our opponent is none other than. That's my drum, bro. <laughs> Baltimore Ravens. Oh. Yep. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are set to witness the AFC Championship rematch showdown September 5th at GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium. I cannot wait. It's going to be something. Pre-sales for the tickets have already started. I went to try to look just to see if maybe, maybe I can catch a deal on one. And what I found was that I'm probably better off donating or selling the kidney to get a seat. So we probably want, you know, me and Larry B joke around with this all the time, man. And we, 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 we say, you know what, for the price of seating, the price of gas, the, the, price of concession the 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 price of just time consuming to get to your seat waiting in line and all that dude you're probably better off watching it at home you're probably better off if you can get it because from what i've been seeing <laughs> there's some people out there on x formerly known as twitter you know the internet is undefeated and they just making some jokes about the price to be able to catch an NFL game on TV now. It's, it's crazy. They were saying, you you know, with everyone bidding for games now. Um, and boy, I tell you, the NFL knows how to make money. Damn, that's a machine. Um, you, got, you got all these networks bidding to stream these games or, you know, to, to, to show these games. Uh, Peacock and, and and ESPN and Fox or, or whoever else is out there who uh Prime Video. You got all these people bidding to show these games. This is someone made a joke. It's like <laughs> uh YouTube T V, what is about eighty bucks a month. Uh Prime is about ten dollars a month maybe. And they was just adding up it's like hell for a good eight hundred fifty dollars, you'll be able to watch a <laughs> watch an NFL game, ladies and gentlemen. The man that makes all this stuff happen, like I said, who brings you all these shows. This is KC Sports, you know, three and out and set point and shy, the Buffalo Huddle. Um, he's he's in the building. Larry B, show sure y'all love, man. Ten year anniversary of IE Sports Radio. <laughs> like I said, they, 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 him and his wife work hard, man, to, to bring out all these shows. So we, we got to make sure we get it right. Got to get it right, and and some big things are happening here. At the network. So that's what's up. What's up, Larry B, man? Appreciate you for stopping by. I know a lot of uh, people were busy. What? How come I can't open up? I'm trying to. My, com- my computer is. Oh, excuse me. Oh, it's giving me issues here. I was trying to open up something. But anywho, so yeah. Um. <laughs> Yeah, it, like I said, a lot of people, they were just saying that uh, it's, it's going to cost you an arm and a leg just to watch these games now because everyone is uh, bidding, putting in they hat, putting their bidding hat in the ring just to be able to bring it to you, So, which is cool. I love it. I love all that. I'm happy. I don't mind. Whatever. Uh, at some point, will it be cheaper to go to the game? Probably not. It's still going to be cheaper to watch it at home. Front row seat, handicap seating, as I call it. <laughs> the best view. The best view. So, um, yeah, so as we get into this, that's what's happening. The 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 sneak peek of the, the NFL schedule, I guess, is they're gonna make it a, like a like a whole big release party situation, I guess. They're gonna I guess they just gonna throw out pieces of schedule release. 
up until Wednesday when it's the official release day of the NFL season. So, kudos. Kudos. I look forward to finding out whoever, who else we are going to be playing. Uh, like I said, so far we know Kansas City Chiefs are going to be hosting Baltimore Ravens for an AFC rematch, AFC Championship rematch. I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, few things that's going to be different. Offense. As long as Kansas City got, if we got the red zone offense <laughs> figured out, we're golden. We're golden. If you couldn't beat us at our at our worst, which was last season, honestly, was our worst. No one could catch a ball. Then you damn sure ain't going to beat us at our best. And I think, hopefully, I think, I feel, I hope that <sighs> Ombre, man, I hope I don't have to come and have a chit chat with you in in Beach now and and part ways. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but hopefully, Ombre, the receiver coach, can get these guys in shape, get them together, get them ready. It's gonna be nice. But it was also brought to my attention because I didn't think of it as the AFC Championship uh, game rematch. I didn't think of that because honestly, in my heart of heart, I wanted the Raiders. I wanted the Raiders or the Bengals. I would have settled for the Bengals. Most importantly, umro numero numero uno, I wanted the Raiders. And the reason I wanted the Raiders because I'm tired of getting online. And just scrolling about my business, about my day, and I see some punk a Raider fan. <laughs> Sorry, Larry B. No, I see a Larry. Uh, I, I see a Larry. I see a Larry B. Raider fan. No, I'm just kidding. I see a Raider fan out there talking about the the this Christmas game that they won, and that's great, man. Get yourself a pat here, here, here. Here goes some claps. Here y'all go. Here y'all go. Here y'all go. <laughs> That's all you get. Dang, dang, there y'all go. Y'all happy now? Do y'all feel like somebody told y'all, job well done, good job, buckaroo, great job, sport, way to go, tiger, hey, slugger, yeah, yeah, pat on the back, kudos, hoo-hoo, you guys beat the Chiefs on Christmas Day. Are y'all happy now? Because I'm tired of saying it. I'm tired of saying it. I don't care. You won on Christmas Day. Kudos, kudos. Great. Awesome. What was the score again on that on that on that uh day? I don't even recall. Um What was the score? Huh. Twenty to fourteen was the score. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, we didn't score in the first quarter. You guys got held to three points. You guys Outscored us by a touchdown in the second quarter. You got held three points in the third quarter. We didn't put up any points. And you didn't put up any points in the fourth quarter at all. Zero. Big goose egg. And we scored seven points. Hmm. Okay. So the difference in that game, and that, that 14, that 14, I believe, came from a uh, Mahomes pick, right? And something else magical happened because you're – Quarterback didn't do anything. So, y'all defense put in some work. Great job. Wowzers. And our offense, you know, was flat. All right? We know that. Not this year, okay? Not this year. But I, anyway, as I went on to my rant, I want wanted the Raiders because I wanted you guys to witness the banner drop in Arrowhead Stadium. And the ring ceremony, you know, the trophy and all that beautiful stuff that you will not see this year. That we won in your house. After we spray champagne all over your lockers. <laughs> I wanted you guys to witness it. I wanted it to sink in for you. I wanted you to feel the energy here at Arrowhead. As we drop that banner and we and we hoisted around that Lombardi and they showed that ring 
on that big screen. That way, as you stood there and had to watch it, that Christmas game slowly just chipping away in your heart. Tell us no more. No more. Then you would you would feel like, yeah, we really can't beat these guys. Because you can't. We're going to sweep your ass. Okay? You're going to get swept. Denver is going to get swept. Chargers, we might split one with. Maybe. But then again, they might get swept too. We're in the sweeping business. All right? We're a broom factory, and we in the sweeping business. So, yeah, that's that's that on that. <laughs> I'm happy though. I can't wait. I can't wait, man. This season is gonna be crazy. You got pieces moving everywhere. Um, players going here, been plucked from there, going there, moving here, moving there. The draft was awesome. We got our speedy guy. Um. I kind of got sidetracked. Now that I talk about Speedy Guy, I kind of got sidetracked. My apologies, folks. Not only is this the AFC Championship rematch game, but it was brought to my attention that could this be? Could this be? And it might not. You know, I don't think there's no bad blood there. But in my imagination, as SpongeBob say, I am going to go out and say, could this be a Hollywood Brown revenge game? <laughs> Hit the bell. Didn't mean to give you the scoop bell. I meant to give you the lightning. Uh, Hollywood Brown revenge. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Before we start talking about our Royals and Sporting KC and KC Current, I'm just just real giddy right now. Just happy. We got a sneak peek on who we play first. Uh at home. I don't know. This receiving core, I feel like Sky Moore is gonna take a leap. I feel like KT is gonna take a leap. A leap, a leak, <laughs> a leap. Uh, nah, they had leaks last year. They kept dropping the damn balls. They, that was leaks. Um, but we're gonna get into that. I feel like I feel like year three Scott Moore is gonna be something that you don't want to miss and that you're gonna you guys are gonna enjoy. We're gonna take a real quick break on this fifty third episode of This Is KC Sports. On the tenth year anniversary of IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. We come back. We are going to talk a little bit more about the Chiefs, but we're gonna probably talk about these Royals because right now they 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 hot to Molly right now. They still sit in third in the AL Central, but not by much. They're over five hundred, and we'll get into that when we get back. This is this is KC Sports. On IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. Stick around, we'll be right back. What's up, everybody? This is Taryn Rodriguez. Are you a fan of volleyball? Are you a fan of Thunder Spikes? Then I have the show for you. Set Point, where I cover NCAA men's and women's volleyball, high school boys and girls volleyball, beach volleyball, and even professional volleyball. Catch the action every week here on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports.
What's good, fight fans? It's your boy, Marcus Los Great. Here to give you what you want. Here to give you what you need. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming to you live. Straight from your mama's basement with a crispy white tea. <laughs> we are coming to you live every Tuesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Powered by IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. Hockey fans, I'm Adam Kernan. And I'm Zach Puplis. Together, we are the newest version of Hockey Talk on IE Sports Radio, The Neutral Zone. Zone, 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 zone. We love hockey, but we also know it's not everyone's first sport. So we want to make this show as much for new fans as for the diehards. Whether you can name all the Swedes on the 08 Red Wings Stanley Cup team, or if you can't tell if Varlamov is a goalie or the latest trendy vodka, we're here to help. With facts, figures, and outrageous fans, we bring you all the hard-hitting hockey news you can handle, while still keeping it fun and on the rails. Well, mostly. So tune in every week as we go around the hockey world from college to Canada, the minors and the majors, and everywhere in between. So bring your sellies. And your one-timers. Your wicked ristas. And be sure to protect your five-hole. Catch the Neutral Zone every week on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. We promise not to pick on the Arizona Coyotes every episode. Before the break, we were just we was just talking about uh, that home opener game, uh, Chiefs versus Baltimore Ravens, AFC Championship rematch, or as I like to call it, Hollywood Brown uh, revenge game. I couldn't think. My mind was it it literally blanked out. But, yeah, so, um, the, the Royals, the Royals, first off, man, I gotta say, what's up to Ralph Police? Welcome to the show, my guy. How you doing out there? Appreciate you, appreciate you. I gotta say, man, Marcus loves great. His drop, it, it, it kills me every time I hear it. He ain't just coming to you. Uh, and for y'all don't know, if y'all missed the drops, uh, Marcus Love Great is the host of uh, the um, Elite Wrestling. Man, I'm opening everything. Jesus. Jesus Louise. Uh, uh, the Elite Wrestling uh, show that's on here on IE Sports Radio. But, man, his drop, it, it kills me every time, man. Um, he ain't just coming to you from the basement. With a crispy white tea. Nah, 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 nah. He coming to you from your mama's basement with a crispy white tea on. I don't know what he's doing in your mom's basement, but that's where he's at. Probably doing his show. 
So, <laughs> with a T on, a crispy white one. So, yeah, man, that drop kills me every time. Speaking of mamas, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Hopefully, like, happy belated Mother's Day, I guess. Hopefully, y'all celebrated it. Hopefully, it was all what y'all wanted it to be. Uh, that's, yeah, mothers are awesome, right? <laughs> So yeah, um, so yeah, uh, before the break, like I said, we were talking about the Chiefs, we're going to get into this Royals team, who I, last year, they had me duped, I'm not going to lie, I, I, I was all in, chips all in, I saw spring training, I said, oh boy, yeah, yes, this is the team, this is the team. And then when we started getting to the real games. So you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. That's exactly what they did to me. And I said, jeez. You had me fooled. You had me fooled. I literally thought y'all was going to be the team that y'all are this year. I thought it was going to be last year. But I couldn't wait. I'm I'm a patient guy. I'm, I'm pretty patient. Sometimes. Depends. So, I guess better late than never, right? So, yeah, this team is above 500. They, they're really close to pushing 600. Uh, they are, what, what are we now, uh, 20, um, what, what, what is the record? 20, 20, 25 and 17? Dude, hats off to the Kansas City Royals. Oh yeah, twenty thousand seventeen. Like I said, we are we still third. We still third uh, in the uh, AL Central. Um, we're still third, but we're a half game behind the Twins, uh, which the Twins are a half game behind the Guardians, which I guess if the math serves us correctly. Not my math, but I guess. We're technically a whole game behind the Guardians, first place. But that's all we really care about. I'm happy with third place, but I prefer that first place, man. So I I, I can't believe it. We we get ready to take on uh, Seattle Mariners. They're 22 and 19. Very good ball club. I think Brady Singer could definitely, definitely. I I I think he could put in some work. I think he put in some work. Um, after seeing Seth Lugo the other night, 12 strikeouts? 12. He sat down 12. Singer, come on. You got to you gotta at least give me eight on on a Seattle team. You got to you gotta give me eight, man. You got to give me eight. Got to give me eight. Uh, there were some predictions. I don't know. I feel like Chief... Uh, not Chiefs. I feel like the Royals, hell, they playing like they the Chiefs, right? I feel like the Royals can can pull it off. Um, I don't know. I I think they can get it. What is this? What what's this? Is this a what? Let me see here. Let me get my my facts together before I start giving you guys. Bogus info. What we got a two, uh, three game series. Okay, I thought so. I, I thought it was two, but it is a three game series. We're we're not gonna sweep, but I think we. Well, nah, I guess I guess we can take the series two. I say we win two. Maybe depends on who pitching tomorrow. I don't know who's on the mound tomorrow. Um, but tonight. I think we can do it. Last night was was was, was uh, yesterday was nice. Uh, we we edged the Angels four to two, um, and we 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 we, we took the, the series with them. I think a four game series. My God, damn time is up. Um, you know, three to one. I thought we would split that series with the Angels. Honestly, uh. I thought it was going to be 2-2. We took it 3-1. I'm good with that. Um, 
I mean, the first game, May 9th against the Angels, we, we killed them 10-4. to 4. Then the second game, we edged them out 2-1. to 1. Then they killed us on May 11th, 9-3. Uh, and then we edged them out yesterday 4-2. They were up early. They, 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 they jumped up early. And they had me nervous. I thought they was going to take it. Like I said, I, I just thought it was going to be a split. Um, like I said, we got uh, the Mariners on a three-game series. Then we got the A's on the three-game series. Who, by the way, I know a lot of people are talking about the A's. They not that good of a team and all that. Man, look here, okay? They're third. They're third in, their, in, in the AL West. They're third. They're three and a half games back. Oh, excuse me. Um. But and they're not quite five hundred. But you know what? That team is gonna be dynamite, right? Once all that moving and stuff happens and all that, I think the A's is gonna be the A's is probably gonna be bigger than the Raiders, man. Um, I think that they they see a championship before the Raiders do, and and I'm being real. I'm being real. You got what, who, who's on the who's on the A? I don't know a lot of A's. Uh, I, what, who is it? Rooker, who's 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 good. Uh, old guy, I can't never think his name. Shang Ling 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 Ling. I don't know, but <laughs> I'm sorry. I uh, know, I I know, I don't, I don't know his Shang uh, Ling Shang Ling Ling. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Excuse me. I know Brent Rooker and Shay Langliers. That's his name. Yeah, I don't know why I was saying. <laughs> uh, but, like you said, J.P. Sears is not horrible as, as a pitcher. Uh, I don't think so. Um, I'm just trying to look and see, get some more names out there other than just two that I knew of because – them guys can hit some home runs, bro. Um, <laughs> shang ling 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 But yeah, anywho, so yeah, the Royals, man, they 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 killing it. I, I I can't I can't complain. I think by the end of this, let me see here. By the end of who did I say? Who's number one? The Guardians. Who is the Guardians facing off today? The Rangers, who are 22 and 20. I say that the – I have to look at the at the, uh, at the lineup because I'm not sure who the Rangers – who's the Rangers lineup. I mean, I guess we can – I guess we can take a quick look, maybe. No, I didn't do that right. No, it's in here somewhere. Uh, did I close it? Nope, here we go. See who we can see who the starting lineup is for the Rangers today. Um, I don't know why I just said that like that. Jose Urania, uh, I, I guess is how you say it. Rania, yeah. He got the end with the squiggly on top, so you know it's the yeah. <laughs> um. He going off against Ty Block. Yeah, I think the Rangers take it today. They going off against the. Wait, hold on. Did they? No, I'm lying. I'm lying. Sorry, that was yesterday. That was yesterday. Sorry, they going up against Big uh, BB, BB, Bibi, BB. How you say his last name? Tanner. I don't know who they starting lineup is because it's not out yet. Uh, on MLB uh, website, uh, but we see the rotation. The Texas lineup is uh, Simeon Seager, Low, Garcia, Smith, Hearn, Jan Kowalski, however you say it, Jan Kowalski, 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 Duran, and Tavares. And yeah, I don't know, man. Cleveland, Cleveland could pull it off. Hmm. They could. They could pull it off. But anywho, yeah. So the Royals is doing what they got to do. That's all I care about, right? Right. That's what we're here for. I want to say by the end of this series, 
the Royals should they should improve. I mean, the Mariners ain't no joke, man. They're no joke. If we could take today, if we could take today, um, they go 26-17. Hmm. 26-17. And I don't think we're taking this whole series unless some magic happened. I mean, it could happen. Could happen. I don't think so. I don't think so. Hell, we might only take one out of this series, honestly. Like I said, Mariners are no joke, man. They got some they got some guys out there that can put some wood to some balls. Pause. No ditty. Whatever. But they uh yeah. They got some people who can send send the ball out to the stands, man. Um Hopefully like I said, if Singer can can control his commands and stuff like that, we should we should be able to sit down at least eight of them. We should be able to fan eight Mariners at least. Uh, you know, and, and, and what, what I'm saying is he should be able to, to at least get um, at least, uh, they, see, they don't have the MLB. What the hell are y'all doing? MLB.com. Media lineup is up. I guess it's still kind of early. It's 3.40. Hell, we might have a delay if that rain. I mean, the rain slacked up as of right now. But when I was looking at the forecast this morning, um, let's see here. We might have some rain <clears throat> while this game is taking place. We are. That is not what I wanted. That's not what I want. What what's going on here? No, 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 no. We're good. We're good. Uh, games kicks up. Uh, supposed to start at six forty. It's only a twenty four percent chance at six o'clock. Um, overnight though, we we should get some thunderstorms. But seven o'clock it drops down to nineteen. Eight p.m. Hell, it's fourteen percent. So. They're saying thunderstorms possibly around 415, but I don't think so. I don't see it happening. So, yeah, uh, if, if Singer can, can you know, not be, not perfect. We don't need perfect. Just just control your command. Just just be in command. Uh, then we should be, we should be good with that. Uh, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. My... These these women, these women are putting a beat down on. Okay, they remain perfect at home, um, in that brand new shiny stadium that they have. No one other than Casey Kurt, man. They just took down North Carolina, uh, Courage, uh, yesterday, one to zero, four time. <laughs> They still, they still sitting on top. They, they are still sitting on top in the standings. Um, number one, nine. Um, they're six and three, or yeah, six and three. They're six three zero because they don't have any loss. Uh, they got three, you know, draws and six wins. They're, they're like I said, they're up at number one, not 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 far off. It's not a gap because Orlando Pride is right behind them. Same exact record. I mean, identical. All right, I freaking identical. So, uh, next matchup for Casey Current will be Saturday, May eighteenth. They will take on Racing Louisville, and they will be. At home, hopefully that perfect record can stay intact. At home, no losses. Um, Racing Louisville is is in eleventh place. They're you know that that should be. I'm not gonna sit here and say a slam dunk because anything can happen. Anybody can win. Anybody can lose on any given day. 
but they will be at CPKC Stadium. Can what is it? What's the CP saying? Is it Canadian Pacific State Kansas City Stadium? That's that's yes. Anywho, <laughs> get your tickets. I believe it's still SeatGeek. Uh, <laughs> I haven't tried to price tickets lately, but yeah. Anyway, I didn't see the the probability. I don't think it's it's not quite it's not quite up 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 yet. Um, Cavs matches. Uh, the last one was August fifth. We took that three to zero. Uh, July seventh of twenty three, they won two to one. Then they beat us on May twentieth, so almost a year ago. Um, they won zero to two. And then, of course, they beat us in the uh, NWSL Challenge Cup, three to two, and that was May seventeenth. Yeah, so they they pretty much got four wins to our one out of the last five matches. Yeah, so they they hold the they hold the record. They're holding the record. They're holding the record. <laughs> Marcus Lowe's great. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Man, I was just talking about your drop when we came back from break, man. That boy, that drop, that drop, man, it tears me up every time I hear it, man. Coming coming from someone's basement, someone's mother's basement with your crispy white tea on. It, it, <laughs> appreciate you, man. Appreciate you stopping in and checking the show out today. Speaking of break, we're going to take one right here. When we come back, we're going to wrap this thing up with Chiefs Talk because Training camp is around the corner. We still don't know what the heck is going to happen with Mr. Rice and his legal situations. But I think we have an idea on how the season is going to look. And I'm going to give my prediction early on Mahomes' numbers because it's like that. It's like that. You've been working with me, Bishop, on This Is KC Sports. We will be right back. Stick around. Are you a fan of Buffalo sports? Are you thinking of changing loyalties and becoming a Buffalo sports fan? Do you even know where Buffalo is on the map? Did you know Canada is closer to Buffalo than New York City? Welcome to the Buffalo Huddle every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 4 p.m. Pacific Coast Time on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. I'm your host, Patty Bax. This is a podcast designed for you, the passionate sports fan. I know you love your sports. Who doesn't? I cover Buffalo sports and so much more by bringing in the human elements. I call it Buffalo sports with a twist. Join me as we take a journey into the world of Buffalo sports. I guarantee you'll fall in love with Buffalo just like I did. Each week, we start with an inspiration, question of the day, a Buffalo fun fact, and a weekly challenge to you, the listener. Come huddle up with me every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 4 p.m. Pacific Coast Time for the Buffalo Huddle with Patty Bax on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. As we say in Buffalo, Go Bills! Boston sports fans, this is Mikey Two Guns here. 
your host of Our Bleepin' City, airing every Wednesday night from 7 to 8 p.m. right here on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. Please join me. We'll talk everything Boston sports, all the local teams, college teams. I'm even down to talk MMA, boxing, whatever you guys want. So join me every Wednesday night, 7 to 8 p.m. Chime in with your questions on the chat. Tweet the show. We'll even have Collins. I can't wait to hear from you guys. This is going to be a lot of fun. So once again, it's our bleeping city. I am your host, Mikey Two Guns. Every Wednesday night from 7 to 8 p.m. Right here on IE Sports Radio. Your direct feed for all that is sports. See you soon, people. Sports fans, do you like teams that are tough, cities that are tougher, and fan bases that are passionate about their teams? How about teams that are historic and stadiums that are iconic? Then you belong in Chicago, and you need to check out Chi Town Weekly. Join me, Adam Kernan, every week as we keep up with all things Chicago sports. Bears, Bulls, Blackhawks. Cubs, White Sox, we'll cover them all plus more. The Windy City is always buzzing, and we'll keep you up on all the big games and major stories. So tune in to Chi Town Weekly every week right here on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. camp is around the corner and like I said I think Chiefs are going to be ready I don't see Mahomes doing very much training uh, pre-training camp training I mean we did some throw some balls around and stuff with uh, uh, Rashid Rice and Hollywood Brown um, but I think now that we got that that first part of the uh, schedule is dropped, or I guess the first game um, has dropped. Um, man, every time I think about it, man, I, every time I every time I say the words, the first game, season opener game, whatever, I think about that damn Lions game that we should have won. But um, <laughs> man, please. <laughs> Close the door on that shit. So, um, I think now that, that we know who our uh, our opponents are, the Baltimore Ravens, for those who have not seen or heard or been too busy with work or or life or family, whatever. Baltimore Ravens take on the Kansas City Chiefs September 5th, AFC Championship rematch game uh, at Arrowhead. So, I think Mahomes is going to start getting ready. We're going to start seeing a lot more training with Xavier Worthy, hopefully. 
That's what I'm excited about. But most importantly, Hollywood Brown get to say hello to the ladies again. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. That's beautiful. That's gonna be beautiful. Um, but yeah. So I don't know. Ombre, have yourself together, please. Please, Connor. I believe that's your first name. Have yourself together and have these guys together. Get them ready, prepared mentally. You know, um, like I said, we, we're what well, we're middle of May already. We're in, we're in the middle of May, just about, man. Um, it's almost that time. It's almost that time. Next thing you know, July will be here before you know it. I'll be another year old. And St. Joe will be buzzing. Buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. We get to watch some probably somebody bombing on the field. <laughs> it's going to be hot as hell like always. And there's no shade up there in St. Joe uh, during training camp. So you, you better get your stuff now. Get your battery-operated fans with the mist on there, some bucket hats. You know, and, and some umbrellas, because there is no shade whatsoever, all right? Um, I am going to try hard. I've reached out to the Chiefs to try to get a media um, pass. I haven't heard back. I'm going to try again. Hopefully, I can get some kind of pass to where I can get in there while they're talking and doing their press conferences. I don't know. Paige is trying to tiptoe around here, and I don't know what she's looking for, but she is, and she's fanning me off like a like a fart. I don't know what's going on here. What what is that? What does that mean? What is that? <laughs> uh, do you want to say hello to the people since you're here? You want you want to say hi? You what? You not here? I can see you. <laughs> Imagination. All right, SpongeBob. <laughs> All right, so she don't want to speak. Are you sure? Hello. Wow. She spoke. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, ready for that? I priced the tickets. It is. Did you know that the the game against Baltimore is gonna be the first game since the AFC Championship we won? Um, the nosebleed seats are three hundred, like plus, like four. Some of them are like almost five hundred dollars. That's Clark Hunt's about to pocket them dollars, and. I don't know what he's gonna do with it. That ain't that ain't no stadium money. But yeah, yeah, it should be. But I don't know. Clark ain't gonna have to worry about it because the mayor over there, the governor, whatever over there in Kansas, whatever her name is, pushing, huh? <laughs> she pushing hard, bro. She pushing hard with those star bonds. Talking about one hundred percent funding, like. And, like, basically, almost like he ain't got to pay nothing back. Yeah. Like, they, no. Hell no. So, Kansas City Chiefs might be Kansas City, Kansas Chiefs. No, I'm just. <laughs> Forever Kansas Chiefs. They, they're not going to change the name. It just might not be in Jackson County anymore. So. But, yeah. So, appreciate everybody for sticking around. Get ready for Set Point with my man Taryn Rodriguez and Shy town Weekly with Adam Karnick on this 10-year anniversary of IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. It's been a pleasure. And uh, we will probably see you guys next Monday. Probably. I might, might have to switch to Dirty Girl. We, we don't know yet. I don't know yet. We'll see. Y'all be safe out there. Peace.